Hello friends, Steve Blankert here again. Hey, uh, this is part 9 of the generator rebuild project uh, for an Autolite GDZ 4817A for a CJ2A. Uh, if you recall in the last, uh, last episode, we uh, had the field coils installed in the generator body. Uh, I was pretty close to ready to assemble it. I still needed to sand in and seat the brushes. So I've done that uh, and I've got the generator assembled now and I'm ready to do a motoring test on it. Now the motoring test, if you recall from uh, uh, the first video, we started doing it with a motoring test on this generator just to see if it was electrically sound, and it was, although it was pretty noisy and rough. But uh, So now I'm back to the end. I've got it all assembled, got the, uh, the commutator end uh, lubrication done, I've got the felt wick in there and oiled. One thing to note, um, and I know it's kind of hard to see here, let me see if I can put a light on it, there's a little hole uh, it looks like a hole right in the top here and that is not where an oiler goes. A lot of people think that and I thought that initially when I started looking at it that there's a little flip top boiler that goes there. But that's not correct. It is for a, a plug when they had to when they manufactured it they had to bore a hole straight down in for that felt and that's the only way they could access it by boring it in so then they just put a plug in that hole. So don't try to put oiler in there because it's just blocked off. Again, fill, when you do install the generator, make sure you put some 30 weight oil in it uh, and then it fills, fills up to the level of the screws here and there's a little overflow there that will keep you from overfilling and that will keep that uh, wick well lubricated. Okay, so it's all assembled now. Um, it feels good. Uh, the bearings are nice and smooth. I seated the brushes in. Um, so we're going to give it a motoring test here and see if it's going to work. So I've got, just a reminder, I've got the, uh, the field, field terminal, the F terminal, grounded to the ground screw here. That will allow full current through the field coils. Um, and then that, I've got a jumper going to the, to the negative terminal on the battery. And the, the A terminal, the armature terminal, uh, is the positive side. And that's going to jump around. I'm going to touch that to the positive terminal of the battery. And if it works, it'll do th two things. One, it will polarize the generator. Uh, by putting the current through the field coils, it puts the magnetism in the right direction for the field coils, and then the pole shoes hold that magnetism. That's why, by doing that, that every time you start the Jeep up, there's always some residual magnetism in the pole shoes that allow it to start charging. And then, of course, the other thing is it's going to motor. It should run like a, like a motor, and that's telling me that it's functionally sound. So, here we go. Take the jumper over here, and let's see what happens. And there it is running nice and smooth. And remember, you don't want to do this for very long, just a couple seconds, because those field coils can get overheated. You don't want to do that. Uh, but that, that shows me that it runs. Uh, it's electrically sound. Now, I no longer have a test bench, so I can't actually put it under load and test it. Uh, so this is the best test that I can do. But this gives me about a 95% confidence rate that it's going to work just fine when I put it on the Jeep. Um, so this is going to be a spare for my Jeep. I've got one, what's on there right now is, is working well, so I'm not going to mess with it. But uh, this was our kind of rebuild project for uh, to do this video series and just to give me a spare. Um, so I think it all came together pretty well. I had no big problems with it. Um, I think you know, this is the ninth video, so I've walked you through kind of all the steps that I do. I mean, I didn't cover every single possible thing. I highly recommend you get one of the Autolite manuals. You can download some of those off the internet now too, uh, and follow through that. Um, there's some real, there's some other good videos and some good step-by-step -step guidance on a number of the forums. So if you want to do your generator, I would recommend you know look at these videos, go through all of them, uh, and then but also look at other resources and and pull it all put it all together. Um, if you, you know, I know I realize not a lot of people are going to want to rebuild their own generator. Uh, they're not really confident doing that. But hopefully this will give you an idea of uh, if you want to buy a rebuilt generator, ask the questions. Now you have a better understanding of what's going on inside them and what it takes to rebuild one. So ask those questions of a vendor who's selling a rebuilt one. What was rebuilt? What was actually done? Uh, rebuilt means it can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. But it's not just a set of bearings and some new brushes and call it and a, and a slap job of paint. So now you understand about the field coils and what you do with those, how you service the armature, the wiring, uh, all the little things that uh, go along with doing a quality rebuild. So if you want to do it yourself, great. But even if you have just problems with your generator, you have a better, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how it works now and you have more confidence to go in and take a look at it, troubleshoot to figure out what's wrong. Uh, more than likely it's just worn brushes or maybe the, the wiring's a little ratty and that can be easily fixed. So. 
I hope you found this uh, series helpful. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to do for me. I mean, I enjoy working on these things, so it's been fun. Uh, and I hope it's, uh, you know, it'll help you guys to, to get out and work on your own. Uh, rebuild one, take one apart, repair one you got on the shelf, and uh, have a spare or have your, get yours back on the road. So, anyway, that's about it for me. Uh, this is the last video of this series. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any other questions or comments, feel free to, to post and let me know, and I'll try to answer them. All right, thanks a lot. Y'all take care.